To update your PowerShell help on an offline server, start by grabbing the list of installed modules from that server and exporting it to an XML file. We'll be able to import this on our workstation where we'll be saving the help files. You can skip this step if you're going to be using a server with the same installed modules to save the files, but as we're using a workstation it's best to collect this list. With that XML file in hand, we can now import that on our workstation. And using that imported list of modules, we can go ahead and save our help files back onto our USB key. This will work away and download the help for each of those modules that were installed on our offline server. You may receive error messages for some modules, however you'd also receive these if you were doing the update on an online server as well. So armed with our offline help files, we'll head back over to our server and get them updated. Alright, I'm back over on my offline server, and as you can see we've got a USB key full with offline files. So let's go ahead and update, and we'll point the source path at that folder on my USB key. Note that my PowerShell session here is an administrative session, and that's because we're updating the help for some system modules which require elevated access. And apart from an expected error or two, we've now successfully updated the help for our PowerShell modules on an offline server. Thank you for watching.